Today is March 10th and I'm a little bit worried. So as you can see, a lot of these fake pops have leafed out. And then there's another two here as well. Most of them have leafed out, which is a really good sign. However, I'm worried that the medium is actually drying out. I didn't have them open up until right now just so that I could water them a little bit. Take this one for example. This was my Martin Encarrimada. And as you can see there, there are green buds. However, a few days ago, these buds, just like that one right there, were nice and green, a uh, much brighter green, and they seem to be drying up. That one looks fine, but these other ones, but these other ones are worrying me a little bit because that's not what they look like before. And when I check the medium, right now it looks fine because I just watered it. But I hadn't watered them once or opened them up since I set them in here, which was on February 4th. And I'm worried that I might have made too many little pinholes at the bottom and too much moisture is coming out, especially right now in Arizona when the temperatures are getting up to the 80s. I might just need to water them more frequently and try to up-pot them as soon as possible. You could see some roots on this one. There's some more right there. However, there's some that I noticed the medium looked so dry that the roots themselves were also drying up. Okay, can you see those for example? Right now it looks wet because I just watered it, but some of those roots are a little bit worrisome. I don't know you guys. I might try and up pot these possibly today because I'm just, I'm too worried. <laughs> I don't want them to rot. Like here's another one. The roots typically would have looked a lot better than this. Look at that one right there. It's just turning brown. And I also have to consider the fact that I put w a lot more medium inside of these bags versus the first batch that I did. So they might actually have a pretty good root system. I just can't see it because I'm waiting for it to fill up this entire bag, but the bag itself is pretty compacted. So I might just go ahead and pop them up today um, because I don't want to lose these cuttings, especially because I really only bought one of each except for maybe two varieties with which were the Marseilles black and the Socorro black so I think I'm probably going to try and up pot these today so the first thing I'm doing is removing all of this mulch from my grow bags I added this not only to hold in some moisture but also to keep the cats out because in the past when I've left just uncovered soil they have a blast with my grow bags at night. And that makes for a very unhappy gardener. <laughs> so the top few inches look kind of dry, but once you dig down, there's a little bit more moisture in there. I don't want my medium to be too dry or too wet because I don't want to rot my cuttings when I first up pot them. So I'm just digging in my hole like so. And then I'm adding in some worm castings, mixing that in. And I'm also adding in a little bit of mycorrhizae. Mycorrhiza, however you say it, and mixing that in as well, just to help with root development. And then I'm gonna bring my cutting out. So I'm going to try and see what's going on with this Martina Encarrimada. This is one of the cuttings that I was very excited about. I still am very excited about, but it hasn't fully leafed out and there's no visible roots. So I want to see what's going on inside. Just taking my scissors and cutting this back open. And let's see here. Oh, guys, there's no roots here. Okay. As you guys can see, there are no roots. It looks like there's some starting to come up right here, but no other visible roots yet. So I think, oh man. So I think I'll have to up pot this again. Maybe keep it indoors. I don't know, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to see. I'm going to take my Genovese needle. It only has about two roots on this side. 
and then one of the roots on this side was turning brown so i'm gonna open it up and see what's going on Once I take it out, you can see that it actually has a good amount of roots. So I'm going to go ahead and up pot this one, and I'm going to do the same with the rest of them, and then I'll let you guys know which ones have absolutely no roots at the very end. So I went ahead and up potted every single cutting, even the ones that hadn't leafed out yet. So excuse my yard, I've been in the process of cleaning up my garden beds, and I have the bags next to them so that I can make the tags. I haven't made them yet. so. That's the last step, but I up potted every single cutting and honestly, all of them had roots of some sort. Some of them had a little bit less, but the one that seemed as though it had absolutely no roots was my Martinenca Rimada, which is, let's see, which is this cutting right here. However, when I inspected it a little bit more, I realized that I had about three or four tiny little roots starting to emerge. So I'm going to take that as a good sign and hope that it makes it because I only had one cutting and if it doesn't make it, then <laughs> there's really nothing else I can do. There's a lot of mistakes that I feel like I made this time around. First of all, I added a little bit too much perlite to my peat moss and I think that's why it wasn't holding on to moisture as much as it could have. Also, I compacted my bags a little bit too much. I should have filled them up with about half of the potting medium than I wound up using. That way the roots could fill out the bags a lot faster because when I actually took it apart, there a lot of these cuttings had a good amount of roots deep inside. They just hadn't made it to the surface. And next time I know not to fill them up so much and not to compact them so much as well. I want a nice loose medium and I had made mine a little bit too hard. But this is my Martinenca Carrimada. This is actually the one that I'm the most worried about so far. I don't know if it's going to make it. I hope it does. The days right now are quickly climbing from the mid to high 60s up to the low 80s. And in the next few weeks, I'm sure that's going to go up significantly. So that's what that one looks like. Here are the rest of them. And like I said, I need to make tags. I'm going to be making aluminum tags right now. I'm going to label these as quickly as possible because there's so many varieties i don't want to get them mixed up but this is what they look like and what's this one? Oh my gosh <laughs> where's the tag for this one? Oh no oh no 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 this was an older one yes 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 this, this is one that i potted a few days ago this is not part of bigaholics that's most of my cuttings but i also have some over here so i have one there and the last one right here. The last two cuttings are right here, a Socorro Black and a Marseilles Black VS. The reason I have potted them in these tiny little ones is because I'm down one grow back. So one of the Marseilles Black I'm giving away and if it makes it and the Socorro Black I wanted to up pot and put in my garden as well. The only thing is that I like to make my own potting mix and Lowe's and Home Depot have all been out of peat moss for a few weeks now and that's one of the main ingredients for my potting mix so as soon as i'm able to get that in stock in a few weeks i'm going to up pot my socorro black i just don't want to put it under too much stress of potting it twice in a short period of time so once it outgrows this little pot i'm going to up pot it as well and then the rest of these are just other cuttings that i'm giving away i'm just waiting to see which ones absolutely make it and <laughs> and don't suffer too badly from transplant shock and then I'll be giving them away to friends and family. So yeah, guys, overall, I'm very nervous to see what happens. I was not planning to up pot these right now, but honestly, I just freaked out a little bit too much. And on top of that, I went online to, to try and figure out why my cuttings seem to be drying out in the fake pop, just to see what other people were doing. Were they bottom watering? Were they watering from overhead? You know what exactly was going on or maybe my mixture was a little bit off and when i went on forums a lot of people started freaking me out because i saw other people saying that their cuttings were rooting and then all of a sudden they just dried and shriveled up so 
that made me very very nervous and so I, I just went ahead and did this as an attempt to save them um, that doesn't mean that mine are drying up but I'm just scared at this point one thing that does give me hope is knowing that um, I don't know if you guys have watched his channel you guys probably have because he's really good at rooting fig cuttings but Mike Kincaid Sincaid not very good with talking guys but he typically propagates his cuttings in spring um right i believe it's in spring and here in arizona we're we're at the beginning of our spring so i feel like right now is a perfect time to transplant these outside if i'm going to try and continue to root them outdoors i've gotten a head start in the fig pops and now it's just time to wait and see what happens out here had I started these maybe at the end of December or beginning of January indoors, I think that might have made a difference and they might have progressed a little bit more. But inside my garage, it's been getting up to sometimes 82 degrees. And I don't know, we're just going to see what happens. I'm going to update this video again in about two to three weeks and we'll see where I'm at. At that point, I know a lot of you guys are probably cringing watching this because... <laughs> Who does this and at this point i don't even know whether to take the parafilm off or not so i'm just gonna leave it on for now because i don't want to mess with them but we'll see what happens i might regret this or i might not we'll see but thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in my next video